Hey guys, Rambly Bob here again. I wanted to address some questions that uh, folks are having that uh, that are just getting into this solar uh, craze, <laughs> the, the solar panel charging power station craze. Um, so I, I've I've heard a lot of folks that you know they 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 rush out and they buy a, a power station and um, they buy a panel. And hold on, let me grab a power station for you. Okay, so. This is just an old power station, just for an example, okay? And, you know, they, they want to buy a solar panel and use with it. Now, there's two things that you have to make sure that are proper in order for it to work. Otherwise, when you hook it up, it's just, it's not going to do anything. Um, number one is the voltage. You have to be within the charging parameters of the power station. And what that means is the VOC. That's the open voltage, okay? The open circuit voltage. So, this one is from 12 to uh, 12 to 18 volts okay now th why that's important is if I open up like say I bought this panel and I want to charge that power station right so I open it up and you see that the uh, the power voltage is 18 you think well, well that, that, that'll work fine but if you remember what I said it's the open circuit voltage notice this is 21.6 volts what that means is this panel is too powerful for that power station. If you hook that up, that could possibly damage or uh, hurt the battery inside because you're overcharging it. You're putting too much energy inside your device. So what you want to do is make sure that you stay within the parameters of your charging, uh, your box, okay? So every single power station out there is going to be somewhat different. Uh, some are the same, but most of them are going to have different parameters. Uh, give you a prime example. The one I just showed you only had from 12 to 18 volts. It's hard to get a, a you know a good sized panel to go down that you know low for the open circuit voltage. Um, now I do have um, other power stations. Like let's take that Occutel, the Occutel P2001. Now that can go anywhere between 12 and 48 open circuit voltage right so if you look at that number and you say okay 12 to 48 that's obviously within the parameters which means technically i can take two of these and series them together and bring this up to 41 or actually uh 42.2 volts right for two of them i'm sorry 43.2 volts it's late uh 43.2 volts would be two of these in series but if i put the third one in series with that obviously i would be going over voltage now i have the the uh the pecron um e2000 lfp now this panel will not work on the main ports of that power station the reason is because you need at least 32 open circuit voltage to get that to start charging so you really have to look at those major two major parameters when you buy a panel for your power station and sometimes it's very frustrating like the Occutel has a very weird rating 12 to 48 up to 500 watts at uh, 15 amps that's a very strange rating when it comes to solar panels um, just because a lot of solar panels either you know exceed that or don't even come close to that parameter so you have to kind of you know pick and choose your battles if you will you have to you know pick certain ones that work now let me grab another one here let me see what this one is i don't know if this one has the parameters in this one here we've got more solar panels than we can use we don't have anywhere else to put them so now we're looking for bigger ones but as we're looking for bigger ones we have to always maintain that charging parameter um, okay, that one I don't think has it listed. This is really nice that Pecron did this. They put it right on the uh, on the thing, and then they wrote it, you know, like right there. Um, their bigger one too, the uh, the PB300 that they just sent us, that has it in a little tag that's hanging inside there, and that's 39.6 open voltage, right? So I, I like when companies do that, and and not I I don't like when they just put a piece of paper in the panels. I like when they actually stitch it or you know type it onto the product because you can't lose it that way right you'd have to lose this whole panel to lose this paper because it's actually printed on the actual flap of the uh solar panel so that's very nice but th that's uh that's one parameter that you have to always follow when you're charging your power station or looking for a panel to charge your power station now the other one is the one that always gets people confused okay the voltage is hard enough that that's very confusing um but this one is 
absolutely crazy because if you look on a power adapter, okay, I'm going to see if I have a power adapter here. Give me one second if you would, please. Okay, so I have a power adapter here. This is for a Optima PK320. Now what it's for is irrelevant. What you're gonna look for on here is hopefully I didn't cover it up. Okay, I didn't. So you have um, uh, output 12 volts at two amps. Um, that's, uh, the polarity though is positive over negative. Okay, that means that the pin or the outside ring is gonna be positive or ne uh, negative depending on that polarity rating. That's a huge thing that people overlook because if this was uh, designed for the Optima PK320, right, and say someone made it a, a, a mistake and put the wrong adapter with it and it was negative over positive, right? Uh, positive over negative usually means that the center pin is positive and the outskirt ring is negative. But sometimes there are power stations and devices out there where the inside pin is negative and the outside ring is positive. That's called reverse polarity. So what they do is they reverse the flow of power depending on how their pin is set up. So if you have uh, a, a pin that is reversed and you don't know it, you'll hook your panel up and assume, okay, well my panel's broken or my box is broken because it's not charging. And then you get um, little tiny, uh, like I, I have them here. Hold on one second, one more time here. Hold on. Just play some music in the background, okay? All right, let's see what we got here. All right. All right, I'm back again here. So, you know, as I make these videos, you always come up with new ideas, and uh, you don't always have everything handy. So I appreciate you, you know, being patient with me like that. And okay, so. This I made myself. This I call my reverse polarity adapters. And all they do is notice that they're the same. They don't go together, right? They, they would Neither one would fit together. So what this does is take the output of something, like, you know, that would be this one, right? Let's say this panel here had this coming out. Do you see how it changes it to that? That's so you can change the polarity. So I have a few sets of these because back in the days as I was learning, I was confused as far as which one is positive and which is negative. And the strange thing is a lot of times these companies, you see that red ring right there? A lot of times this will be negative. Now that's completely opposite to what we're all used to because when we think red, we think positive. When we think the black ring, we think the negative, right? The poles. So uh, this allows you to switch the polarity from those to these which doesn't sound like much but this one's going in right see that that is a male pin inside a female plug and it switches it that quick to now a female pin and a male plug it, it can be very confusing at first because um, you know learning this is like learning a whole new trade which it is it's, it's, there's a whole industry of just solar and these guys have, uh, you know, learned so much in such a short time that when they go to explain it to you, it kind of sounds like algebra or calculus for the first time. It just kind of goes right over your head. But once you get it, you get it. You, you'll have what I call an aha moment to where, kind of like when you put two panels together, it's in, uh, in series and the voltage doubles, but the amps stay the same. And now if you put the panels in parallel, the voltage stays the same and the amperage doubles. So you have that moment, like any learning, you go, aha, I get it now. And it, it just, it falls like that. It drops like a hat right into your brain and you go, oh, that's so simple. Why didn't I think of that? Well, because you had to learn it. So everything has what's known as a learning curve. You know, I, I don't care what you do in life, everything you've ever done, including walking, uh, riding a bicycle, driving a car, it had, it had a learning curve, right? When you first got your license, you didn't hop on the freeway. You were scared to death. Everybody was, me included. So you had to take that side road in the alley in the parking lot and work your way up to have enough courage to, to learn that. You know what I mean? It, it just takes time. So 
uh, do yourself a favor uh, don't get frustrated come and look for little videos like these that really help you learn and get that aha moment a little bit easier and faster I, I, I know that the internet really helped me. If it wasn't, I, I'll be 100% honest that I have been ever since I started this channel. If it was not for people like Hobotech, Jasonoid, and uh, Will Prowse, those three guys are very educated in their field. Especially that Will Prowse. That young fella is very educated at what he does. He's like a teacher, but he's so tiny, you know? It's like you wouldn't expect all that knowledge to come out of a young man like that. So it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's really a... Uh, a cool thing that I found those three guys and maybe you guys found some guy named Rambling Bob that can you know break it down a little bit easier for you so you can have that aha moment but that's the that's the two things guys and the reason I made this video is because I had a scriber uh, they asked me questions like this and I just wanted to make a simple video to where hopefully this video in, in its sim uh, simplicity about it will have that aha moment you know so let's hope okay if you have any questions please feel free i love answering questions and if i don't have the answer i'm gonna go search it for everybody and we're all gonna get the answer together and we're all gonna learn as a team that's the cool thing about learning is you don't have to learn by yourself anymore it's not 1950 we all have the internet and our phones and all this technology at our fingerprint uh finger uh, tips and you know we, we can we can really you know educate ourselves very quickly you know but okay guys please like subscribe this thing uh or scribe it you know be, be a scriber be part of the team here and then you 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 never know at four o'clock in the morning someone will watch your uh or read your comment and go oh i didn't know that and then they learn something too that's the coolest thing about education you don't have to pay for it all the time so okay guys leave a comment if you have any questions make a couple of these i highly recommend you making a couple of these and keeping them in your gear they certainly couldn't hurt and this costs less than probably, I don't know, maybe a dollar or two to make. And I can take any panel and reverse the polarity on it just by plugging these simple things in. You know. Alright guys, we'll travel safe and I will see you again. Rambling Bob Reviews. Bye guys.